who this is, aren't you? It's the milkman. He calls every morning with the milk. But know where the milk comes from. Supposing we go back and see how the milk gets into the bottle, shall we? This is the farmhouse in the country where Farmer Brown and his family live. It's nearly milking time, and Susie Brown is going with her father to drive the cows down to the creek for a drink before the milking starts. Farmer Brown has 48 cows on this farm. When you keep a lot of cows all together like that, you call them a herd. Cows are friendly animals, and Susie is not at all frightened of them. This one is called Strawberry. Her baby calf, Polly, is having a drink from Strawberry's udder. That's where she keeps her milk. Soon, Polly will be able to do without her mother's milk. So Farmer Brown will send the milk to the city. Mm. Now the other cows in the herd have had a good drink, and they're going up to the milking bales. Jack Brown is driving them on his pony. Get up, Daisy. Get up, Daffodil, or you'll be late for milking. How would you like to live on a farm, as Jack does, and have a pony of your own? Dairy farmers milk their cows every morning and evening. And it's hard work, especially in the cold winter time. Jack likes to help his father with the milking when he's on holiday. First, he washes Daisy's udder. Then he fits on the milking machine. The milking machine sucks the cow's milk out of their udders like this. Then through the pipe. And the milk from all the cows goes into this vat in the milk room. The milk is warm, and Farmer Brown cools it to keep it fresh. Icy cold water is running through the inside of this cooler and the milk is quickly cooled as it trickles over the cold pipe down into the milk can. Now the milking machine has taken all the milk it can. Jack is going to collect the last drops of Daisy's milk We call this stripping. Out you go, Daisy. Out with the rest of the herd. And here is the milk lorry. It has called to take Farmer Brown's milk to the local milk factory. While the cans are being loaded, the cows are going back to the paddock. But they will come back in the afternoon to be milked again. Away goes Farmer Brown's milk to the milk factory.
here we are at the milk factory. All the dairy farmers from miles around send their milk here to be put on the railway and sent to the city. Cans are emptied and the milk is cooled again to keep it fresh on its long journey to the city. The milk from every can is tested too to make sure that the farmers are keeping their milk clean. This filter shows if there's any dirt in the milk. Some farmers send their milk to the cities in big lorries like this. But Farmer Brown's milk goes on the railway. The milk is pumped into the railway milk wagon. And then away goes the milk train up hill and down dale, past all the dairy farms, and across the river, taking the fresh country milk to feed the people in the big city. Now we're at the depot in the city, where the milk from all the dairy farmers is put into bottles. The milk is pumped into storage tanks made very hot to kill any germs, and then cooled again and pumped through these pipes to the men and women in the bottling department. Check the bottles to make sure they're spotless and clean. In goes the milk. the list. And away go the boxes, all ready to be loaded onto our milkman's van. Here he comes now, bringing the fresh, clean milk for Peter and Betty. One pint, please, says Betty, and one for me, please, says Peter. Now you know what a lot of work is done by Farmer Brown and his friends in the country and the men who work on the railways and in the milk factory and by many other people so that Betty and Peter and you too may have fresh milk to drink each morning.